Greetings and welcome to another video. My name is Italian Stallion and I'm excited. I'm excited because this croquetta video that I want to make, I want to prove to you guys why it potentially could be the most broken skill move ever. Uh, it's something, it's an easy video because, I mean, the clips are easy to find. It's pretty obvious that the move is broken, but what I wanted to dive into is specifically why it's broken, you know. I think uh, for me in FIFA 20, it's important that this skill move gets fixed. Uh, and by fixed, I mean they either have to remove it because I don't think you can tune it the way it is. The way it exists now, you either remove it or you completely rework the skill move itself because it is inherently broken. At first glance, the the, the main reasons why it's broken and the most obvious ones, uh, you know, contributing factors to why that is are... It's too easy to do. The commands are way too easy to do, right? And it's a four-star skill. Making it a five-star skill already makes it less accessible, therefore less frequent to use. And obviously, the main one that everyone says, it's easily chainable. Now, while these three factors, if fixed, you know, if you make the inputs harder, if you make it a five-star skill move, and if you don't allow people to chain it, are you going to solve, are you going to alleviate some of the pressure that this broken skill move brings? Yes, but it doesn't solve the inherent issues, which is why for me, these three things are the 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 tips of the iceberg. These are, these are just, fixing these wouldn't be really would it, would be just like curing the symptoms as, as opposed to going to the root of the cause. With clips today, I'm going to prove that why that is the case. And, and it begins with improper use, you know. Uh, the croquetta can be used in this game improperly. The way you're supposed to do it, the way you do it in real life, someone's coming at you, you're dribbling towards someone, and you croquetta to dribble away from them, right? But in this game, it's so broken that you can use it the same way you would drive to the hoop in basketball. In, dri in basketball, you're on the perimeter, you're the you're the playmaker, you decide to drive to the hoop and, and bump into people and hope to draw a foul. Same thing what, that you can do in FIFA with a skill move. You can use the croquetta to bump into people. So literally, you're playing bumper cards at this point, instead, which makes no sense. Why would you ever dribble into someone in football? Right, you would uh, you would try to dribble around them and draw the foul that way, but not specifically into it because theoretically you should lose it, but not in this game. the The skill move is so broken that uh, you can dribble into people, and while you do it, it's like you're surrounded by holy energy. And while you perform the croquetta, not only do you have insane mobility and all that stuff, which should never be the case. You should never have a skill move that trumps left stick dribbling. Mobility should always be. Uh, used by left stick dribbling. You should never want to do anything other than left stick dribbling. That's how good left stick dribbling should be for you. When you do the like croquetta, the user is exempt from all the animations that we hate this year. You know, when you're left stick dribbling and your player gets grazed and he, he just hunches over and he does a drag touch and he starts dribbling slow and you lose possession because of how easy it is to put pressure. All those things do not happen when you do like croquetta. That's how broken the skill move is. It's the one skill move that allows you to not be pushed over. Maybe it'll turn out as well, but... This is so much more broken because uh, of so many other factors. And I guess the final two reasons of why this is so broken, and I'm going to show you guys in clips, shooting and passing out of a croquetta is too quick. It's physically impossible to shoot or pass straight after a croquetta the way you do in FIFA, and defenders don't know how to react. So without further ado, let's jump into these clips. Now in this first clip, Ronaldo does three croquettas, not specifically chained, but really fast one after the other in succession. And you can already tell that mobility is insanely easy when you do this croquetta. The amount of angles that you can uh, abuse and run into is ridiculous. And then obviously you also have the issue here that I mentioned earlier, uh, the defender, it, you can't tackle. Even if you, even if you pull off the tackle, the ball will just go back to him and he can then perform another skill move and shoot even though there's kind of a parasitic in front of him and it's too easy. In the second clip, Mbappe shows us the improper use of La Croqueta. You see what I mean when I say people, instead of weaving away from a defender, people can use it to bump into a defender, right? And because while, like I said, while you do a La Croqueta, you're exempt from losing possession, you're exempt from your player losing balance excessively and all these things, my defender gets out of the way as he gets pushed away from his croquetta and he ends up with the ball, he shoots through my legs after the improper use of La Croqueta. Here's a beautiful example why even if you fixed La Croqueta, it doesn't really fix the game because as you can see the pass, everything's intertwined. You know, I've talked about passing here, atrocious pass that goes through my defender's legs should never in any universe 
be pulled off because I mean, this is the definition of everything that is opposite of scale. But obviously, with in terms of like Rakata, you have the issue of the uh, chaining, and then obviously the issue that after a La Croqueta, the the speed at which you can perform a pass or a shot straight after a croqueta is insane. In this example, uh, Rashford does two croquetas, not necessarily a chaining. You know, the first one obviously poor defending by me, but that's again improper use of La Croqueta. In this situation, to get on the inside because I've overcommitted, you're supposed to do a fake shot, a scoop turn, something like that, not a La Croqueta. You're not weaving away from me. You're just using it to weave on the inside and grab me on the inside. If you actually did a La Croqueta in real life in that scenario, you'd probably fall over because you'd be off balance. Nonetheless, we proceed. He does a second La Croqueta, which, uh, you know, it's a nice looking move to get the space. But again, inherently for me, at its core, it's so overpowered. It's like the mobility you have on this move is just off the charts compared to the mobility in any other aspect of this game. So it's broken to begin with. But have a look at the speed at which he takes the pass straight after the La Croqueta. That is physically impossible. You have just done a Croqueta. You have just landed on your right foot. There is no chance you can perform a pass that quickly right after landing on your right foot. That's physically impossible. And it's so broken how quickly you can do that. As usual in these clips, you know, we're going to see instances here. I tackle him and he still gets the ball. Like I said, everything's intertwined. Even if you remove Kukretas, you're going to still have the shooting epidemic I've spoken about, assisted passing I've spoken about, tackles going back to your opponent I've spoken about, unless you tackle him from behind. And here after I tackle him and he gets it back, improper use of La Croqueta because it just works to get the angle on the defender. And he ends up chaining three, four, uh, and five. So here the problem is obviously the fact that you can chain La Croquetas. The fact that, you know, you're exempt from being off balance. Like, my Louise is on him. He doesn't budge. Like, if you're left stick dribbling there, oh, my God, good luck. Your player is going to fall over and all of that. But not when you're doing La Croqueta. When you're doing La Croqueta, you are exempt from anything that, re that involves defenders putting pressure on you and all that sort. Here, once again, improper use of La Croqueta with Ronaldo into my defender. But because he's doing La Croqueta, because it's Ronaldo, it doesn't matter that it's an improper use. It doesn't matter that I was on him. He gets the lucky bounce. He proceeds, and he gets the easy goal as a result of this uh, disgusting mechanic, really. The chaining continues with uh, Mbappe in this clip. He does two in a row. But what I really want to focus on more than the chaining is the point I made earlier. Defenders don't know how to react. You see that? La Croqueta, and my it just goes through my legs for no reason. Boom, that's it. That second Croqueta should have easily, easily been stopped, but obviously it couldn't because, uh, you know, there is no reaction to the skill move. That's how broken it is. It goes beyond the chaining. It's literally the move itself, the exit, the speed at which you can perform a pass and a shot after the exit. There is no counter to it at all whatsoever you are at the mercy of what the game decides the improper use continues here with the mbappe in the white jersey he does two croquet like he does a croquetta into me like on what planet are you going to do a croquetta there when i'm running to the left you're running to the left like are you trying to hit me with it no he's not trying to do that he just knows that even if he runs into me he's going to get the ball back as he does uh, as you see there and then obviously you know we concede not necessarily because of la croquetta la croquetta is the reason the ball is the pass is made in but obviously, huge touch by a defender, beautiful aspect of this game that we get these huge touches just to prove to you that everything is intertwined. Remove La Croquetas and it still doesn't matter, but for FIFA 20, it's one of the many things that needs to be addressed uh, because, you know, this goal is proof that, you know, these random bounces would happen with or without it, but La Croqueta is sort of the spark in this play. But the last clip of the day, chaining La Croqueta, he doesn't lose possession, you know, like I said big aspect of La Croqueta, you are exempt from losing balance while you are performing the skill move. And these are all the examples I have to you today, guys. I hope, I hope, I, you know, I've made it, I've showed it, I've made it clear for you guys. You know, chaining it is a problem, absolutely. The fact that it's only a four-star skill is a problem. The fact that it's uh, such an easy input is a problem. But even if you fix all those three issues and you don't touch the mechanic, that's not enough. The mechanic itself is broken, guys. I've showed you how... Uh, you know, you gain way too much mobility, especially relative to what you have with the left stick. The left stick should be the best way to move around, but I've shown you uh, there's no reason to left stick dribble when you can slither like a snake. Even if you don't chain it, it's always worth moving with a croquetta, even for one meter, as opposed to dribbling like a sane person. Because when you dribble, you are then, uh, your, your players then start falling over. Your players start 
losing possession. When you do La Croqueta, they are completely exempt from it, not to mention the fact that once you exit a Croqueta, the speed at which you can shoot or pass is insane. And it really, it, it's nothing more to say. Like, this is the most broken thing. It's one of the many things in this game that acts like a crutch to save players, to bail out players, because uh, it creates angles easier than anything has ever done in any FIFA, in my opinion. This is, like, the one of the most broken, if not the most broken skill move ever. Let me know you guys' thoughts, and I look forward to um, seeing what you guys have to say. Peace out.